718 here on the East Coast and taking you back out live to Jersey City, New Jersey. Port workers already walking the picket lines early this Tuesday in a strike over wages and automation that could reignite inflation and cause shortages of goods if it goes on more than a few weeks. According to the Associated Press, the contracts between the ports and about 45,000 members of the International Longshoremen's Association expired at midnight. And even though progress was reported in talks on Monday, the workers went on strike, as you're seeing right now. The strike affecting 36 ports is the first by the union since 1977. Shalom, shalom. Man, I'm not going to be here with you long. But I'm going to tell you something that the media won't tell you. Here's the question that you need to be asking yourself. Why are the longshoremen on strike at the port? Man, I'm going to put a link in the description and I need you to watch it. The media is not going to tell you this. Listen to what I'm saying. I've talked about it on this channel before that there's pros and cons to AI, artificial intelligence. I've talked about it before how the elites are going to use this technology to do away with a lot of jobs. Man, I want you to think about some of these longshoremen work 10 15 years to elevate to some of these positions to be able to have a better life for themselves and when you click that link in the description you'll realize that they're trying to keep their job where these people that we vote for these professional you know liars are telling you that they're gonna create jobs China was the first one to have a fully automated port. The truck pulls up. It's all robotics. No people. Everything's automated. This is what the strike is really about. Don't say nobody hasn't told you. I'm just giving you a different look at it because they're not going to tell you. Close to the Yah Ministries, kicking a gun barrel straight. Wow.